Hello there! Welcome back to ITV, another venture of gaining knowledge. For today's session, we are going to talk about safe computer network operation. The following are the learning competencies you will develop after this video lesson. 1. Undertake final inspection of the configuration to conform to the manufacturer's instructions or manual. 2. Ensure the configuration conforms to the manufacturer's instruction or manual. And lastly, check computer networks to ensure safe operation. To fully understand about this topic, stay connected. In a fast-paced, changing world of technology, information is very important. Like every other value, people try to save it from superfluous hands and eyes especially valuable personal information and work-related data we send through electronic for business, education, government, entertainment, and some other transaction purposes. Exchanging data and information via virtual world is very crucial. Also, proper precautions in how to configure the network cables and operation to avoid physical harm. Thus, we need to be aware on how to safeguard every transactions or activity we did every day to avoid computer crimes and economic losses towards it. Therefore, this video lesson will discuss on how to manage properly the computer network operations. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Hence, this activity will tackle on how to have a safe computer network operation. A computer network or simply a network is a collection of computer and other hardware components interconnected by communication channels that allow sharing of resources and information. In 1940, George Stibitz used a teletype machine to send instructions for a problem set from his model at Dartmouth College to his complex number calculator in New York. Then, in the year 1950, early networks of communicating computers included the military radar system semi-automatic ground environment started in late 1950s. The Commercial Airline Reservation System Semi-Automatic Business Research Environment went online with the two connected mainframes in the year 1960. The following year of 1969, ARPANET, or Advanced Research Project Agency, was created for transmission lines of 56 KB. Then, Digital Electronic Corporation Network was created in 1970 for proper trait design. In 1980s, Gigabyte Network was created to support the different applications such as FTP, SMP, HTTP, POP3, IMAP4, and lastly, World Wide Web. Was developed by Timothy John Berners-Lee. The development of network is consistent until now. Therefore, we need to have a proper security in our cyber world. It is understandable that data protection in computer networks throughout development of information system has got on the first place on importance at the organization of computer networks and as to operation with them. At present, there are three basic principles of informational safety we should provide. 1. Data Integrity Solution of a problem of protection against the failures which are carrying on to lose or change the information. Number 2. Confidentiality of Information Solution of a problem of not authorized access to the information. And number three, availability of the information to all authorized users, solution of a problem of failure in service. Safety precautions related to network. 
System configuration is the way a system is set up. It is the collection of components that make up the system. Configuration can refer to either hardware or software, or the combination of both. For instance, a typical configuration for a PC consists of 32 MB, main memory, a floppy drive, a hard disk, modem, CD-ROM drive, a VGA monitor, and the Windows operating system. Safety rules when working with cables. The tools required to install copper and fiber optic cable may cause danger through improper use. When working with cables, strictly follow these safety rules. 1. Make sure that the tools you are using are in good working condition. Number 2. Watch what you are doing and take your time. Make sure that you do not cut yourself or place anyone in danger. Number 3. Always wear safety glasses when cutting, stripping, or splicing cables or any kind. Tiny fragments can injure your eyes. And lastly, wear gloves whenever possible and dispose any waste properly. Specific types of tools and chemicals are used in working with fiber optic cable. These materials must be handled with care. For example, chemicals. The solvents and glues used in fiber optics are dangerous. You should handle them with extreme care. Next, tools. When working with any tool, safety should always be your first priority. Any compromise in safety could result in serious injury or even death. The tools used for working with fiber optics have sharp cutting surfaces that are used to scribe glass. Other tools pinch cables with high pressure to fasten connectors to them. Glass shards The process of cutting and streaming the strands of fiber optic cables can produce tiny fragments of glass or plastic that can penetrate your eyes or skin and cause severe irritation. The fibers can be extremely difficult to see in your skin because they are clear and small. When we work with fiber optic cable, the working surface should be a dark matte so that you can see the tiny glass or plastic fragments. Harmful light. Protect your eyes from the harmful light that may be in the fiber optic strands. The light is a color that humans cannot see. It can damage your eyes before you can feel it. When you see a magnifier to inspect fiber optic cable and connectors, the light emitted from the fiber could be directed into your eyes. When working with fiber, be sure to disconnect the light source. Use special detectors to help you tell if a fiber is energized. That ends our video lesson. Happy learning!